Hello, I'm Tracy Diane. Welcome to my channel. Please subscribe to my video if you want to see more. And I hope you do like the video. Um, I'm talking to you about uh, a music label. Um, they, they play a vital role in integrating uh, African music or African American music uh, be played into a uh, main street audience. That's uh, they're well known as Motown. Motown was uh, founded by Barry Gordy Jr. as Tamla Records on June 7, 1958. And in April 14, 1960, it became Motown Records, uh, located at Detroit, Michigan. Uh, it was owned by Universal Group, later owned by Polygram. Uh, like I said, they played an important role in to integrate African music on, la on label to mainstream audience. The network was like 71 million, um, according to my research. In the 1960s and through 79, uh, they had 79 hits in the top 10 of uh, the Billboard charts between 1960 and 1968. In 1967, uh, they moved to L.A. due to a Detroit riot over pay disputes. Uh, uh, it's an independent label until 1988 when MCA Records bought them out. In 1998, Polygram purchased, later on, purchased the label from uh, M uh, MCA. Uh, Smokey Robinson was the vice president. Uh, the, they have a wonderful, great collection of, of the catalog is, is phenomenal, it, the best. I mean, there are the artists that they uh, um, that that was part of label is like between Mary Wells and the Miracles, Marvelettes, Supremes, the Four Tops, Jackson Five, uh, Stevie Wonder, uh, Marvin Gaye, and so many more. Uh, oh. I do hope you do check them out. Um, I'm remembering in the 60s that, or when I was a little, it, you cannot miss any Motown Rex song. I mean, it's, it's played all the time. It, um, even in, in Midwest Kansas, uh, uh, I would hear uh, mostly Motown uh, when it comes to black music. Um, always loved it. Uh, they they were always uh, high energy, uh, danceable, um, fun. Um, they had their own choreography. They have their their own way of uh, they present themselves, and it the uh, the songs they would play it always makes you feel good, always does for me. And I think uh, because they were able to play on mainstream radio, because I think it, it's because they were safe. Uh, for Main Street, they were not. They were controversial. Um, there were um, lots of controversy about the music itself. Um, uh, yeah, uh, I used to just listen to my with my sister. Uh, in my household, there was always music, and part of my influence, it, 
I would have to say it has to come from my sister. Um, she was like about six years older than me and loved uh, to play a lot of what current music at the time. And uh, we would sit, watch TV, uh, you know, play, play all that kind of music all the time. So, um, I had great memories of watching him, uh, or listening to Motown. Um, I, I can't think of it, anything bad about this music. Uh, they're always good. Um, I suppose everybody has favorites and, um, I don't know. I, I, I'm not sure if I have really a favorite. I, I just like, I, lo I just loved it all. Yeah, I like it all. Um, yeah. Tell me about what you think about, um, when you look, check it out, check the music out and think what you, think what, uh, tell me what you think. And if you heard of Motown, I'm sure most of you could tell me your favorite memories of that time or uh, when listening to Motown. Um, yeah, I think that's it. Yeah, peace.